This is my favorite when this happens. Thank you guys. Very, very strategic of you. Good, good communication, good teamwork. Um. So this morning we are leaving Little Rock Marriott. We've got all of our cars right here. What we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be driving like three hours into Blytheville, some random town in Tennessee. So we're gonna be doing that and we're going to be taking over a runway today. So that is going to be fun. And that's literally all we have planned. So we're just going to be doing runway stuff all day long. Having a lot of loud cars in one parking garage is awesome. Are you driving and taking pictures? I'm just holding it right now. <laughs> See you guys. There we go. What up though? First things first, I have got to get gas. So this is Blytheville. I don't really think there's anything here except for this airstrip. I don't think this place could have been any more complicated to get to. We've been literally putting around here for like five minutes around this little area. Now we are here, we're at the runway, we're at the airstrip. I'm, I am hyped to see how this is gonna turn out. Yo, yo. What's up, Evan? How much, man? No running over the blue lights on the concrete, no burnouts, go to the far back corner. Sounds good. I am on an airstrip. Your boy is on an airstrip right now. Wow. This is huge. I'm assuming most of you guys have played Forza Horizon. Well, this is basically the closest thing you're gonna get. Just in real life. Yeah. So I got the car inspected, and it looks like I am rated to go up to 165 miles an hour, which that means this car is going to be maxed out today, because I don't think this car would ever go higher than that. But I can't wait, because I've never actually gotten this car that high up, and it's gonna be pretty fun. So today we're going to be maxing out my Subaru, it's so cool. All right, so we are getting ready to go. I'm getting my car kind of prepped. The only thing that sucks is I don't actually have a camera that's going to be able to go on my helmet today. So you guys won't be able to see the actual speed. I'm gonna try and give you the best camera angle possible, but it's kind of limited when I'm having to focus and drive 150, 160 something miles an hour. So let's go. So before we actually get to do our actual runs, we have to go through and do a test run. So basically at the end of the mile, we have to be at least between 115 and 130 miles an hour. And that is what is going to allow us to qualify to do our actual, whatever we're inspected for. So anyways, it's game time. Keep it at 120 and go through the cones at 120. Okay. Some people have been letting up early and then they didn't qualify. Okay, cool. What is this, a Subaru, Mazda? Yeah, Subaru. Subaru. so bad but then again that was only 120 <laughs> oh that was hot 
You'd go way faster if you took your back seat out. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> See ya. Rolling with the hood up like a boss. Actually, I'm literally, I was kind of heat soaked last time, just the qualifying lap. So I'm just going to turn it off. Just let the car cool down. I want to try and top this car out, but I only have a mile to do that. So we'll see how it goes. All right. This is it. This is going to be my, pretty much my one and only run. My car is good. My coolant temp is uh, about 190. So we're at 189 now. Um, it was pulling timing a little bit last run just because it simply was hot and it's 97 degrees outside right now So, you know, that's fun. I'm going to attempt to get my STI up to its fastest speed within a mile, so We'll see how it goes hey, You are dragging. What's up? You are dragging. What? Dragging. Something's dragging? You are officially dragging. I can hear you dragging. Hold on. Yeah. Turns out my skid plate on the bottom is off. So I'm gonna take it completely off. We are bringing it back around now. Okay, so now we're actually gonna do this thing. What are you going for? I mean, probably like 140. You have your green, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're clear. All right, guys, here we go. off my brakes oh wow my car got really hot my cooler went up to 216 <laughs> that really wasn't that fast but in this car because this car is a giant blob it's a giant rolling turd aerodynamics don't work with this car thanks dad <laughs> oh hot. I love this hairdo though Oh, so I got a 138 in a mile. Not too bad. You ready? Treat it right. This is a large, you goof. It is a large? Hell. Oh, I'm a dingus. So here's what I had to take off at the very beginning. So, this is my under panel. A little skid tray under my car. It was dragging and I had to take it off. And driving like with this kind of stuff 140 miles an hour is not a good idea, so I had to take it off. I just want to let you guys know that this 600 horsepower GTR actually only got 146 in the mile. It's that hot today. All of our cars are extremely heat soaked, so it's really hard for our cars to perform, especially boosted ones, especially in high gear situations. So, yeah, I, I could probably do much higher than 138, but. Um, it's whatever. This has been absolutely awesome. I'm about to get heat stroke though, so I'm gonna go leave, grab some water, and then head back. I don't think there's a worse place to break down than right here. That Mazda Speed 3 blew a head gasket, like majorly blew a head gasket the first run. That sucks. So I'm gonna see if they need a ride back to the hotel, but that is terrible. <laughs> yeah, that is what a blown head gasket looks like. You guys like vape? <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing. I actually feel really bad, but oh, I can't. It. I can smell it. I can taste it. Ugh. Oh my gosh! So I'm finally here. I've driven like 600 miles today, so you can imagine my butt hurts like hell. We are in Hot Springs. That was like a well, supposed to be a longer drive, but it really was not too long of a drive. I think we might be in trouble with some cops, but you know what's new. I've literally been in the car sitting down for seven hours today, so it's been kind of rough. But anyways, this has been a lot of fun. This has been a great day. Also, sad news, I just heard that the 517 horsepower Future Classic Motor Cars Subaru just blew up. It blew a head gasket on the highway. Thankfully, it was really close to here. It really sucks because that car was amazing, and I feel bad for Ethan. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get checked into the hotel because I need to get showered. Daddy needs to get clean and he needs food.
Look at this room though. This is nice to get a leather chair and just like a kind of mini fridge. Oh, and look at this. I just want to stand full nude and just look out at the city. Look at my kingdom. <laughs> look at this bed. You know what? I just want to just, just that's that's what I wanted to do. Today was pretty huge. I had so much fun and I'm so thankful. You know, I was thinking today, I'm so thankful that this is my job. Just to go out and do this kind of stuff and to make videos on this. And it's just so much fun. And I just have to count my blessings. And I have to thank you guys for that as well. And also, again, so stoked and so excited that we finally hit 100K. Again, I really hope you guys are enjoying or have enjoyed the daily vlogs. We have one more daily vlog and that is tomorrow. The final day, we're going to actually have a highway shut down just for us a highway so it's going to be so much fun we can literally do legally whatever we want to do on that highway thank you guys so incredibly much for watching seriously so much i love you guys you guys make this dream very very real for me and i am i'm thankful for it each and every day hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and i will see you guys tomorrow man i love saying that peace out <laughs>